Hey everybody, Ann here. The puppies. A siren. A siren just went by, so there they go. Alright. It's okay, puppies. Anyhow, I'm just sitting here finishing up my coffee. It is a beautiful, beautiful day outside, so I'm hoping to spend most of it outdoors. I do have to go into town. I gotta pick up some puppy food and some other things I don't want. I don't want to do it, but I have to. I wish my voice would go back to normal, but oh well. Um, so today I'm going to show you my idea about some stacks of logs. And I want to start working on the different garden areas, you know, especially the little pallet garden and fix that, you know, the up underneath part. Gosh, I would love it, love it if I could just find something that's coming up that's a wild forageable green. I would love that so much. Whew! I tell you what, I spent a little bit longer in town than I thought I would, so, and it's hot outside right now, I can't believe it, I'm actually kind of sweating a little bit, so uh, I'm going to go out and work on that pallet garden thingy that's broke, that the puppies got into. I got the first one done, and yeah, I'm going to have to come back and fix this uh, netting a little bit, but I've got this piece of wood up underneath of it, and it's going to hold most of the dirt in, so I think it'll be alright. Um, it's a little bit longer on the top one. Um, because I'm going to do something with that eventually. But it's kind of awkward, uh, like, drilling upside down. So what I did, this little piece of wood here, was the perfect height just to hold it up for me to kind of be my assistant. So I got them both in. So let's see. Yeah, it works. Yep. So the wood's not going to be, I mean, uh, the soil's not going to be able to fall out. Now I just need to fix that one. Oh, and in case you're wondering, I did pre-drill both the screws until they were just coming out of the wood. Makes it a lot easier. All right, let's see if it holds. I think the screws were long enough. <clears throat> this board was a little bit thicker. Yep, that's nice and solid. One more. Got it, let's see if it holds. Yeah, yeah, this one's pretty good and the screen looks good. I can fix that screen a little bit. I did it, you guys! I fixed my pallet garden. It's fixed. Yes, I'm happy I'm going to be able to use it again. Got strawberries here that are already coming back. Lemon balm's already starting to come back. I don't know what this is. It's probably just dead, but if anything starts coming on it, I will, uh, I'll let it go. That's lemon balm, and there is some green down in there. I need to add some more soil here. Fill this one with soil. This one was harder to do because the screen is kind of messed up. But I think I got it in there good enough for it to hold soil. And then more lemon balm here. And there may be some more strawberries trying to come up over here. But I'm glad I was able to fix this. Look at guys, remember those daffodils? Those ones that were growing wild? They're coming up and they look like they've multiplied. I've just kind of put this over here so the puppies won't get in. Um, hopefully that peppermint will come back. And then I've got more of them coming up here. They dug down pretty deep, but they are coming back, and it looks like the peppermint over here is going to come back. More daffodils here. I'm pretty sure that's what they are, but they're coming up, you guys. So I don't know if any of this is going to come back because the puppies just got in there and dug it, and I know the, that these lilies are going to come back, and the ones that are over here as well, because they always do. They just keep coming and coming and coming. Remember this big pile of logs that are basically rotting? I didn't even think about this, but this is practically a ready-made Hugo culture bed. I would have to go in and uh, get all of the little tree stuff that's growing in it and all the little viney, you know, weedy stuff. Push that one off to the side. Take this one, push it closer, and cover it in materials. And I'll talk to you again a little bit about, um, you know, the Hugo culture garden bed method. Um, because there's all kinds of different stuff you can put on it. Now this wood has been sitting here and rotting for, well, over two years since I've been here. It's not completely rotted yet, but it is getting very, very rotten. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this this year. I would really love to be able to do it. I What I need is I need more compost. I need more leaves. I've got plenty of leaves. I need a lot of soil and you basically just pile it up on top of all of it. 
I spent the last few hours, <laughs> way more time than I thought I was going to, um, re-researching the whole Hugo culture garden bed thing. And I'm going to be able to do with those logs because I think they're poplar. Um, but I'm not going to be able to plant in it this year. I've got to start building the layers and I think I need to enclose it so the chickens won't get into it and just start adding stuff to it so that it will start decomposing and working as time goes by. So um, I am going to plant my regular gardens this year and I'm going to start working on that Hugo culture bed. I can't even talk. Hugo culture bed um, and just start adding layers as I can. But my first priority is getting my other garden beds planted and I said I was going to keep it small this year so I'm going to keep it small this year. Anyhow, it's just about time to go look for eggs and then maybe uh, put the chickens up. So yeah, I'm going to go do that right now. I got two in the Easter egg pen. One green one, one brown one, both about the same size. Thank you ladies. What happened here? Somebody knocked it over. Well, somebody went and laid behind it, so uh, I guess that's good. Let's see if there's anything in this box. No, doesn't look like there was. So I'll just grab this one all the way back here. Thank you, girlfriend. Ooh, looky, four in here. Thank goodness they didn't lay up on the seat again. Yeah, nice size. And I got two pretty green eggs in this box. That means all of the Easter eggers laid for me today. Look at those pretty green eggs. Thank you, ladies. So nine out of the 11 hens laid for me today. I think that's pretty gosh darn awesome. Look at Mama getting her a dust bath. Look at, she's almost 100% healed. <laughs> she's doing great. She does like to keep to herself though. It's puppy playtime. He's been doing much better since I've been keeping him closer to home. They seem less stressed. Hi, Papa. This my good boy. This my good boy. Look at these boys over here. They love chewing on each other. <laughs> They're getting so gosh darn big. Oh my goodness. What's up, Papa? I love you so much. I wanted to show you the difference in coloring between the the different Easter eggers. This one is kind of like a really pretty shade of lime green. This one is a little bit not as limey, a little bit darker. And then this one is kind of, I don't know, it's not a lime green. It's just kind of, I don't know how to describe it. It's more towards the tannish olivey color. But I really love this. Look at how pretty that is. You don't need to even color them for Easter. Look at this. And Papa is just sitting over there watching. That's a good boy. And when he was done, he just went over and got some himself. Sonny's getting real close to him. No growling. Just goes to show you what, what a little hard work will do with getting dogs to get along. I was going to bake something today, but I didn't quite get around to it, so I'm going to save that for tomorrow. And hopefully tomorrow Lena's going to come over and pick up those two Moran's chickens, um, the one rooster and hopefully the one hen. Uh, and she offered me, she says, how much do you want for him? And I'm like, I don't want anything for him. And then she said, well, how about two baby rabbits? And I'm like, oh my gosh, no, I don't, I don't know how to raise rabbits. And plus, I don't, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't think I could harvest a chicken, but I know I can do that now. So I, I, maybe someday in the future, rabbits will be in my future, but not right now. I still don't have the whole chicken thing nailed down yet. So anyhow, it's about an hour before the chickens um, are going to go up into their coops. I'm just going to enjoy watching my little puppies play with one another and then let them out for one last big romp before they go to bed. So, well, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.